Welcome to Santos Brothers Eats. Food worth mentioning. Okay. All right. So welcome back, everyone, to Santos Brothers Eats, where we're talking about more food worth mentioning. And of course, I'm back with my brother, Chef Jeff Santos, and we had a we had some good food to eat, didn't we? Yes, we did. Diana and myself, we went to Simon Sushi uh, on Lakeshore Boulevard in the Tobacco, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, and there, um, what attracted me to Simon Sushi, uh, we belong to a Facebook group, uh, the South Tobacco community group. Um, and people, it's a group on Facebook where people talk about, you know, some recommendations on on food, on, on places to shop, places to go, recommendations on, you know, people need a hand with some housewares or handyman stuff. That, that's where we post it. And um, a lot of people ask about sushi and Simon Sushi was one of the ones that came up the most. And the one post in particular mentioned they have, it's called the Toronto roll, but you can actually add torch salmon onto it. And basically the Toronto roll is a deep fried tempura lobster tail oh. in a roll. Nice. So that's, that's, the, that's the, the Toronto roll by itself. And there's other um, there's an ingredients to it, I believe cucumbers um, that you would find in a roll. But then you add on raw like sashimi salmon on top, and then they lightly torch it. Wow. So, you know, it, that sort of, sort of gives it a, a bit of a cook feel to it. That, that's what attracted me to Simon Sushi. And Diana, and then we shared, I shared with Diana a uh, mango roll because she loves mango. Um, that's basically mango with um, the streamy or the crab meat and little pieces of uh, panko uh, bits on it for a little crunch on top. Uh, so we just got those two rolls. I must say for, for sushi, they, these are very generous portions that, the, that they were serving us. Well, you know, Very generous. Just looking at the menu, and their menu is simonsushi.com, by the way. Just look at the menu. It looks like their prices are very reasonable. Oh, yes. For rolls with lobster and then things mm-hmm. like that. And, you know, one of my favorite rolls is what's called uh, the rainbow roll. And that's just okay. the, the, every sushi place or most sushi places. It's basically a California roll. But then on the outside, we'll have layers of tuna salmon and yellowtail just alternating so wow. it's, just a, it's a really nice roll and you know that's typically a 14 maybe a 14 dollar roll and i'm looking at the menu right here and and the rolls the highest price that i'm seeing i see an 11 yeah 11 oh there's an 11.95 it's called the deep fried big roll oh my god yes I, I, we saw that too but uh, yeah fried. that is huge uh, actually the the sorry i apologize it's actually the lakeshore roll the Toronto is different. Yeah, I was looking um, at that. Yeah, the lake yeah I apologize. Uh, so lakeshore rolls, tempura lobster tail with avocado, mayonnaise, roe, and eel sauce. Yeah. Uh, but then when you add on the torch salmon, it's uh, that's 1250 So oh. I think that is the most expensive roll there. Yeah. Because oh, nice. of, of the lobster and the, the fresh salmon on top. Yeah, it sounds really, really good. And mm-hmm. obviously, I mean, you couldn't dine in um, – now, did, did you pick up this up or was it delivered? How did you get that? No, we picked up. There's a nice park nearby. So we went for a walk and then just before we finished the walk, we called them for pickup. The wait was a bit longer than expected, but when we got there, they were busy. Like there was at least three orders waiting to be picked up. And then when I was waiting for my order, at least five more people came in mm. and were waiting as well or, or picked up. So they were bit, very busy, very busy. Do they have a yeah, dining was, room? They, they do, or they did, yes. uh, but of course it's closed. We're still in COVID. Yeah, yeah. Um, just wondering, just wondering. Yeah, but like I said, on, 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 the, uh, on the Facebook group, it was highly recommended. I can um, see why. I mean, most of the rolls that I see here are, I mean, you can get some personalized rolls at just about every sushi. Uh, I shouldn't say personalized, but in-house kind of personalized. Yeah, custom kind specialty, of. yeah. Yeah, the specialty rolls, but these guys, I mean, just even looking at the pictures, um, you should check out their Instagram. It's Simon Sushi three three nine nine on Instagram, mm-hmm. and there's some just beautiful, beautiful dishes that we see on here. And you know the price. I'm just I can't get over how awesome no. the price is for this. Actually, we were um, we were talking about the, the the lobster roll, 
And it was a toss up between the mango roll and the appetizer platter. And that consists of two Korean short ribs, two pieces of tempura shrimp, four bread spring rolls, the karaji chicken, which is deep fried chicken, and wakame salad. All that for only seven fifty. Wow! Is I know. Wakami, wait, 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 wait. Wakame is that the seaweed salad or is that something else? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love the seaweed that. salad. Love yeah, it. I know you do. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Wow. Yeah. Um, you see, like, like I said, the kalbi. I guess it's not really kalbi. It's, it's Japanese, right? It's something else. I, I I believe they are Korean owned because they also offer bulgogi on the menu. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they are. They, yeah, they have bulgogi, so maybe it is yeah. kalbi. Okay, cool. So yeah. So yeah, but for seven fifty, so it was, a, it was a big toss up between that and and getting the two roll, like the getting the, the mango roll. But you know, Diana wanted mango, so we we chose mango roll instead. But I'm sure you know, I think this this place is, is on my radar again. If I feel like sushi, I think I'm going back here. I, actually, if I feel like Korean, I think I'm going here because they do have kalbi. Oh no, that's taco balls. And they have, uh, you know what? we keep just throwing out Calbi like everyone knows what that is. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Some people might not know. Yeah. Calbi is the uh, Korean short ribs. Uh, we mentioned that before when we were talking about the Korean barbecue. Um, yeah. But it's the, the, the ribs that are cut into bias. So you actually see three ribs, very thin, um, marinated in a special Calbi sauce. And then they barbecue it quickly. So it's mm. still a bit tender uh, and a lot of flavor packed into that. And of course, you know, since it's a rib, you get a lot of that connective tissue that makes ribs yeah. taste so much better. So It does. It does. Uh, so now you had the Lakeshore, right? Correct. And you had the mango roll, right? Correct, yeah. But the Lakeshore already comes with the torch salmon? No. So Lakeshore no, is by that. itself. Gotcha. And then you add on the torch salmon for an extra three bucks. But Very it is nice. worth it. Yeah. Um, when we they actually have a torch salmon roll, like I saw that somewhere. Yeah, I did see that as well. Yeah, yeah torch fire. Yeah. Oh, they have a is. torch salmon lobster for twelve fifty. Maybe that yeah, is that's, to make sure. That's the one we had. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the one we had. Very good. But what's funny is like when we have uh, when we go for sushi. Sorry, when we did go for sushi back then, like all good eat, I would choose the sashimi uh, and raw fish. Diana is not a big fan of the raw fish, so she'll have the like, California roll. She'll have mango roll. Mm -hmm. um, even unagi, the cooked eel. Um, but she said that the way they torched it, it cooked it enough that she had some as well. Good. Yeah. Very good. And so were there any other rolls on the menu that you want to try next time? Well, that big roll that, that you mentioned as well, um, that looks intriguing, but uh, it is a big roll, hence the name. So wow. I know myself and Diana, we will to finish it. Uh, or if we did, that's the only thing we'd be able to order. Um, so I'm sure if, if uh, yourself and Dylan comes down, we could tackle that for sure. Yeah, you know, if we if we all came out to the house and just kind of got a bunch of stuff and just kind of all yeah. shared, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, and in fact, they, they do have some nice platters. I look, look on their menu now. Uh, they have some nice platters, which include sashimi, uh, nigiri, and, uh, and, and other rolls. Very nice. Yeah, there's a party platter there. Would you, what would you rate that, uh, the Lakeshore roll with the torch salmon? What would you rate that? I, I give it a, a nine out of 10. Like the roll itself with the lobster, lobster was cooked perfectly, you know, not too tough, um, just right. Uh, and and, and the, 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 is the tempura, so of course, not too much breading on it. And, and, and because we got it fresh, like we had, I had to wait for it, and it was fresh when we got it. And the torch salmon, yeah, mm. all the flavors were there. And the mango, mango was nice, uh, fresh mango, you know, not too soft, not too hard, like it wasn't it wasn't over right, under ripe. Uh, everything about it was great. And and little pieces of, of uh, panko uh, tempura bits give uh, add a bit nice crunch to that. And so it says crab there, but it's it's the fake oh, crab, right? It's yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, the surimi. Yeah. So I, I remember telling you this, but. I'm not sure if you ever told Diana, like because California rolls are typically the crab with the cucumber and the avocado, mm -hmm. right? But in the Philippines, whenever I ordered a California roll, it wouldn't come with avocado. Oh. I think I told you this. Yeah, instead of avocado, yeah. it came with mango. Oh, nice. So, and you know, man, uh, Diana loves her mango, but I remember I she would does. keep ordering it. And I was like, when's my, you know, when's my order coming out? Because I thought some was someone else's, you know? And so we eventually shared that. And so I imagine the mango roll, I've tasted something like it, maybe without the tempura bits instead of had cucumber and stuff. But, right. But 
but yeah, but there's a lot of stuff up there. I mean, you know, there's, there's a rock and roll uh, roll that has a barbecued yellowtail. They're, they're breaking a oh, lot of barriers is. here Yeah, in terms of, of what they're cooking. Cause typically sushi is, is raw and, and, you know, but they're barbecuing, you know, uh, butterfish and yellowtail and, and salmon, of course, or torching yeah. the salmon. So it just looks so good. And yeah. I do want to try it. I, you know, I really want to try this place. Yeah. Yeah. I, I highly recommend it. Um, that was a oh, tropical delight. Cucumber, avocado, and ginger. Mm. With mango on top. So that's like a vegetarian roll. Very yeah, good. I can't, I, I, yeah. Next time we have sushi for sure. Oh, here's, yeah, here's the big deep fried roll. So deep fried roll, salmon, butterfish, crab, unagi, mango, cream cheese, fish egg. Top with spicy mayo and eel sauce. Mm. Yeah. That mm. tastes eel good. Eel sauce is always what makes unagi taste so <laughs> good. It's that sweetness, right, that we all love. And oh, yeah. It's like uh, the entire roll is just deep fried, which, which is interesting uh, when there's cream cheese inside, because when they cut mm-hmm. it, of course, this, this, this cheese is all soft and it's, oh. all creamy and it's, it's just a, it does a really good job with that. I actually noticed another deep fried roll with cream cheese on it as well. Um, higher up on the menu. Oh, they had the deep fried California roll. Actually. Yeah. I saw that too. I just saw that. Noticed that as well. Yeah. And then the, their rainbow roll includes a uh, butter fish. So, which is interesting. I saw it earlier. I can't find it now. So, just and oh, and they even have the mighty spider roll, which is the the soft oh. shell crab. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I haven't had that in a while, but uh, it's been a while since we've had that. Yeah, and you know, uh, all of the rolls. You know, there's no pictures on the website, but definitely go on their Instagram. You're gonna see some great looking platters and great looking rolls. Uh, and I just can't wait to try it out. I'm, I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah, even just the appetizer platter that you were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for seven fifty, like that's uh, that's unreal. Yeah, the, my goodness. So that <laughs> was the sushi. You know, this little uh, little uh, teaser there with that. Yeah. And, uh, then I know, actually, uh, sorry, just just, just just since we're talking of sushi, um, actually Diane and myself we went to another sort of uh, uh, Asian place called In a Bowl in okay. Oakville. And um, we, were o- we were in Oakville, we were going for a walk and we wanted something different. And um, so In a Bowl, uh, hence the name, all their products are sold in a bowl. So they have poke bowls, they have rice bowls. So we actually got the Hawaiian bowl. And in that is uh, more mango for Diana, actual crab meat, nice. not, not the fake crab meat, um, steamed shrimp. And then in that they have rice, uh, tempura bits, seaweed salad, spicy mayo. We, got, we actually just went for regular mayo. Um, and then, it's, uh, sorry, this is a rice bowl. And the rice, you actually choose between uh, steamed white rice or purple rice. Hmm. So, you know, we had that as well. And then one of the reasons why we chose this place as well is, is they have uh, takiyaki, which is one, another one of Diana's favorites, is deep fried octopus balls. Nice. Um, again, layered with another sauce. And, and on top is the um, the bonito flakes well, to give it more of the saltiness to that. Very good. I remember seeing that on your Instagram feed. Yeah. Or either that or Facebook feed. Um, mm-hmm. I saw the Hawaiian bowl with the and, – and, and it looked really, really good. It did. It's a place it you was. go back to or, or – I mean, it is an it, Oakville, it, so. It, it, it is an Oakville, yes, I, I would go back to. Um, they actually, be, along with the poke bowls, they also do ramen. Um, oh, I saw that. And the, the ramen looks dry. Is that right? They actually have a yeah, stir fried noodles. So it's called yaki ramen. Yeah, so beef yaki ramen with, a, with an egg on top. It looks, it, yeah. the picture looks like it's, it's not a soup. It looks like a dry bowl. Correct, yeah. yeah. But I knew that they, 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 they do have ramen as well. Mm. So I'm guessing yaki ramen is just basically stir fried, whereas ramen is the actual soup. Yeah, because the picture I have here, um, they have ramen, choose your soup base, and then choose your meat and toppings. Okay. And yaki ramen is just basically the noodles with the protein and the vegetables. Yeah, I wish we, like, do you know what yaki means? Like, I have no idea what that Unfortunately, is. Unfortunately, I don't. I have to look that um, up, okay? One of Yeah. Ones. Give me a second here. Imagine someone saying yaki. Of course, it doesn't have soup because it's yaki ramen, right? So, yeah. But yeah. They're like screaming us up over the, over the heavies. <laughs> what is yaki ramen? Yaki yeah. ramen is a special dish you can only eat at the Yatai stands in Hakata City. Uh, yeah. The dish is basically ramen stir fried and then transferred into an iron plate. Nice. So, right there. Looks good. Yeah. And so they're, they're in a bowl.ca if you want. That, that's what, that, that's what I'm looking at at least. Yeah. And then uh, you could, you know, you're going to be able to see 
the torch salmon lakeshore roll, the mango roll, and um, the poke, uh, the, the Hawaiian um, rice bowl that, that Jeff and Diane ate all on the Instagram feed when we post this, uh, this particular episode. Yeah. Um, so now they're only in Oakville, is that right? Yes, they are. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, you know, as, as good as the food looks, I'm just more excited about Simon Sushi. That's all, you know. Oh, no, no. Yeah, good, for man. sure. For sure. Yeah, actually, yeah. let's look at their – I don't see the prices on their menu. How are the prices? Like, you guys split a bowl or – Yeah, we split a bowl. It, it was a very big portion. So yeah. because we had the, the bowl and the uh, takiyaki, you know, that was enough for us for lunch. It was okay. six, the six balls and then the salad itself. So, yeah. So oh, that's good. Yeah, very filling lunch for us. Very good. Very good. Very good. And so that was great. You know, if you're into, you know, Asian food and especially Asian seafood, try out, you know, if you're out in Oakville, try mm-hmm. in a bowl. Or if you're in Etobicoke, they're in Etobicoke, right? Simon Sushi is Etobicoke. Yeah, Simon Sushi. Simon Etobicoke, go to Simon Sushi and you can check them out. Uh, you know, uh, their websites are going to be on the show notes, simonsushi.com and in a bowl.ca, I believe. That's right. So yeah, check that out. So that was this week's food worth mentioning. And it was a great week. And uh, we look forward to next time where we talk about more food worth mentioning. Right, Jeff? That's right. And until next time, remember this quote from Julia Child, people who love to eat are always the best people. And that, of course, includes my brother, Chef Jeff Santos. And I'm his brother, Kenny Santos, and you as well, if you love to eat food worth mentioning. Thanks a lot, everybody. All right. Take care. You've been listening to Santos Brothers Eat. Food worth mentioning.